Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to take a geometry problem from the Harvard MIT Math Tournament from 2023. In this problem, as you see, the problem is given in plain English. Let's see what the problem is and then I'm going to visualize it and then I'm going to solve it. The problem is saying that we have this A, B, C, D, E, F as a regular hexagon. We know that P is a point inside A, B, C, D and the area of the triangle P, B, C is given as 20 and we know that the area of P, A, D, the triangle that we have here is going to be 23. Now we want to find the area of the hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F. This problem came in February 2023 in Harvard MIT Mass Tournament. Now let's see how we are going to solve this problem. First, let's see what I have here. I draw this hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F as you see and then P here is basically just a point inside this A, B, C, D. And then I have these heights H1 and H2 and we know that H1 is the height of the triangle P, B, C and then we know that H2 is the height of the triangle P, A, D. The reason that I did this H1 and H2 is you saw that we have the triangles P, B, C and P, A, D and their areas are given. Now we want to find the area of the hexagon. Let's see how we are going to do this. First, I'm going to write S as the side of the hexagon. We know that this hexagon is regular, so we can say that this is S and we have all the sides equal as S. Now, since we are given the two triangles PBC and PAD, I'm going to write their areas based on the new notation that I have. Let's focus on PBC. So the area of the triangle PBC can be written as 1 over 2 times height H1 times side S. On the other hand, the area of the triangle PAD can be written as 1 over 2 height h2 times the side and the side is going to be ad i think it's kind of clear that ad is basically two times the side of the hexagon so let me use 2s here for now and if it's not clear i'm going to note that if you just have a regular hexagon and then you basically do these all these things and you can see that basically they are going to meet each other here and then if it is s then we have s here s here s here because all these angles are going to be 60 degrees and it's kind of clear now now based on that let's continue so if we want to continue First of all, we know that the area of the PBC is given as 20 and the area of PAD is given as 23. Now let's focus on other things. We know that H1 and H2 are heights. We also know that BC and AD are going to be parallel. If you don't understand why, you just need to play with angles. So if these two are parallel, then the point P that is going to be the intersection of H1 and H2, we can say that basically this is just a single line 
and we have these two parallel lines. So if I want to say that H1 plus H2 is something that I want to focus on, then it's just a single segment and I need to find its length. To find its length, what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to focus instead of this length, I'm going to focus on this length. So as you can see, the length of CE is basically two times the length of H1 plus H2. And the length of CE is kind of obvious that it's going to be radical 3 times side of the hexagon. And since it's going to be two times of this, I'm going to divide that by 2. Now I have H1 plus H2 and I can combine these and have something that we are going to see. We can say that 2 times the area of PBC plus the area of PAD is going to be H1S plus 2 h2s and it's going to be now if we combine these, we are going to say that 2 times the area of PBC, which is going to be 2 times 1 over 2 H1S, plus the area of PAD, which is going to be H2S. We can write it as H1S plus H2S, which is going to be S times H1 plus H2 and we found that it's going to be radical 3 S squared over 2. Now if we want to continue this what we are going to see is what we have for the area of hexagon. Remember for a hexagon with side S the area of the hexagon is going to be 3 times radical 3 over 2 s squared. So basically for a hexagon with side s you can find the area as given here since it's a regular hexagon. Now if you compare what I have here with what I have here you can see that basically this is 3 times s times h1 plus h2 or three times what i wrote here which is basically i'm going to write it here so it is basically three times two times the area of p b c and we know that the area of p b c is 20 plus 3 times the area of PAD which is given as 23. So overall if you multiply these and then add them together you are going to find 189 as the area of the hexagon. And we solve the problem. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities and problems from different math competitions, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel and I hope to see you in the next video.